the grade seven math practice test for T and ready question on this version number nine, which situation is best described by this number line? So they're trying to, if you look at the answer choices, get a feel for how money was being used. So we can assume that we probably start out with nothing because it would be difficult to start out. Like this line starts down here. That's um, between negative two and negative three. So that, that would be a little weird. I'm guessing we're probably starting off with this point here. Before I even get into that, let's look at the scale just a little bit. Each one of these, uh, you have seven and negative eight, so each one of these represents a half, and halfway between there would be 0.25, kind of like money. So this is 50 cents, This is, and which is what we're measuring in. This would be negative 7.25, negative 7.75, just being aware of that. So we're probably starting here at zero, and then all of a sudden we lost money somehow, and we owe money, so this would be negative 250 because it's halfway between two and three and then we bounced all the way up here to this value is 625 but that doesn't necessarily mean that's where um, that's what these values are this one is definitely negative 250 so this line but from this one we're going from 250 to zero and then we're also going from zero to 625 so this is an increase of 250 and another increase of 625 so I'm gonna go over here and add those two together just to give myself a feel for what this whole thing represents. Five and five and two is seven and then six and two is eight. So eight dollars and seventy five cents. That's what this represents. Doing that will save you a lot of headache later just because of the fact that um, it's real easy to fall into the trap of it says six twenty five. So I'm definitely looking for a question that has that number in it but it doesn't necessarily mean that's true you have to look at what's happening and not what the specific numbers are in some cases so writer has six dollars and 25 cents what based on what the starting point is probably here at nothing so i'm going to guess that this is probably not it he needs to buy school supplies and ends up owing his mother two dollars and fifty cents mm, probably not because it goes down here and then goes all the way back up it doesn't show that it's going down to 250. It, the whole thing is kind of ludicrous and doesn't really make any sense. Now, if it had been here and it had gone all the way down in one fell swoop, then yeah. This represents two different actions. So A, I think, is not going to be one of the answers that I will choose. Ryder owed his mom 250. Oh, okay. He does some chores and makes $6.25. Remember how I told you it's probably a good idea to write this number down? This is how you know this is not the correct answer. Because he owes his mom, so that totally makes sense to me. But if he only earns $6.25, it it's not going to get him back up to $6.25. It's just going to get him... Um, to, uh, if I took $6.25 and subtracted $2.50 at that point. I could figure out where it'll get them. Three seventy five. So it only get him like right up in here. So that's not enough. Ryder owed his money two fifty. He babysits his sisters and his sister and makes eight seventy five. So that's pretty good. He owed her the two fifty, so that's what this represents. He gets up to six dollars and twenty five cents. So I'm gonna say it's probably this one. Um Ryder owed his mom two fifty. He also owes his father eight seventy five. So that would be more negative. So that's not it either. So the answer to this one is C. Now I think the key issue here, or there's two key issues here. The first is to understand how the money moved around. It had to have started somewhere. This one says he had six dollars and twenty five cents, and then he ends up owing her two fifty. That doesn't tell the story because this story shows that it goes from a certain point down and then from that point back up. So you need to see where the overlap is. Two things happen. Now, if it had started up here and been a single arrow that goes down, then yeah, it would have been A, theoretically. But it's just not because it doesn't match it, even though the numbers do match. The other part is to make sure you figure out how long the change is because it would be real easy to pick B because he did owe her and then he made money. And this does say 625, so it's easy to jump on B as the correct answer. But make sure you figure out what this value is so you can see how much it's actually moving as opposed to just where it ends up. That's kind of a big deal. So the answer to number nine is C.